In today's video, I'm going to show how I wired up my Logic Rail Technologies block animator BA-1-IR with a Tomar dual head train order signal. So, I previously produced a video on wiring and installing a Logic Rail Technologies Grade Crossing Pro flashing unit with the infrared detectors. I absolutely loved how the product worked and I loved the level of realism that it provided to my layout so I went ahead and purchased the block animator from Logic Rail Technologies because I wanted to have some somewhat prototypical signaling on my layout. Now you will not get perfect prototypical signaling with the Logic Rail Technologies block animator BA-1-IR because um, you're, you're actually using sensors um, installed between the rails so you're really only um, you're, you're distinguishing one block of your layout and this is just an alternative to actually having block detection through your DCC system I don't have block um, I don't have block detection on my layout so for me this was the next best thing so for the most part it has prototypical behavior however probably the biggest non-prototypical aspect of this is when there's no trains in the particular block where your signal is the lights will just remain green so eastbound and westbound lights are just constantly green once the train enters that particular block then it starts to become prototypical in its operations so let's go ahead and talk through how we wired this up if you watch my Grade Crossing Pro video, you you know that I ended up uh, using just a small piece of plywood, eighth inch thick piece of plywood to mount the module and all of my terminal strips to make for easier mounting once I got underneath the layout. So here's a picture of my board. You can see where I've traced the outline for installation of the block animator. Once I got the block animator in place, um, you can see that I have several uh, terminal strips on here that, that correspond to the emitters and detectors for the infrared sensors. I also have a terminal strip to hook up um, the actual signal, the block, the block signal. And I also have a bus bar or, or a bus terminal that allows me to have multiple inputs for both DC and ground connections. So with my particular layout, I ended up, for the Grade Crossing Pro, I purchased the um, their 12-volt uh, power supply because I wanted to make sure that I had adequate power to my Logic Rail modules. Uh, you have to be very, very careful about the power that you supply to these circuit boards. Uh, you do not want to exceed the recommendations provided in the instructions by Logic Rail Technologies. So the nice thing is about their power supply, there are actually two outputs for DC, 12 volt DC, and there's two outputs for ground. So works out perfect. I have one output going to my Grade Crossing Pro, and then my second output is actually coming to my block animator. So the first thing I did was I wired a terminal strip up, black and red wires to the corresponding DC and ground hookups on on the block animator circuit board. So then the next thing I did was run two wires from the circuit board to my bus terminal, one for DC, one for ground. The DC is the red, the ground is the black. So that takes care of the power supply. Then step two you need to wire the black wires from your detector, the, the infrared detector. The detector is the um, set of sensors that has the black and the blue wires, the emitters have the black and the white wires. So you're gonna run one set of wires from each of the uh, emitter and detectors to the ground uh, circuit. So I just run four black wires and they correspond to uh, terminals W1, E2, W2, and E1.
after I wired up the black wires, I wired up the blue wires, and again the blue wires are off of the detector of the infrared set. So the blue wires, again, they just correspond to the inputs on the block animator, W1, E2, W2, and uh, E1. So after I wired the blue wires up, the next wires are the uh, white wires, which are the, the 12 volt. They're going to the white wires on the infrared emitters. And with the BA-1-IR, they send you four resistors. So you just have to wire up. So there's a resistor between your power supply and the emitter. So you can see that I just put the, the uh, resistors in between my terminal strip and my block terminal. Next step after that, this is where you wire up your, um, there's two sets of outputs on your block animator, one for your westbound signal head, one for your eastbound signal head. Again, you have to make sure that um, you have resistors, follow the instructions labeled in the resistor um, for the particular type of um, signal that you're using. I'm using a Tomar, and with the Tomar, the um, six resistors that come with the BA-1-IR are suitable for this particular signal head. Again, verify with whatever brand of signal you're using that you're using the proper um, sized capacitor, or I'm sorry, resistor, to ensure that you do not damage your your um, system. So you have three leads for each detector head: red, green, and yellow. And they, I just you know color matched to make sure that when I actually wire up the um, the circuit or the signal that I'm, I get the corresponding correct color to the, uh, to the um, block animator circuit. So here you can see I have my westbound wires all run. You can kind of barely see it at the very top there. For the Tomar, it has a white common, and that is hooked up to the 5-volt output on the block animator. So there's a 5-volt output in the blue terminal strip that's actually on the circuit board that goes to your um, the common on the um, your your signal so then the next step after that is to do the exact same process except you're wiring up the eastbound so again green red and yellow add a resistor to each one so this is what I have this is this is the final product so now this is ready to be mounted underneath the layout. And then all I have to do is just match up the uh, infrared emitters and detectors to the corresponding proper location on the terminal strip, and then wire up my signal head to the corresponding correct location for the, um, for the signal output. Last picture I'll show you is just um, the actual module mounted up underneath my layout. You can see um, there's a significant number of wires, especially for the infrared emitters and detectors. At this point, I don't have the actual signal hooked up yet. One of my, if I call it a complaint, one of my complaints is the wires that are on the Tomar uh, signals are very, very small wires. They're, they're, they're stranded, uh, and they're very difficult to hook up into the terminal strip, so I think more than likely what I'm going to do is I'm going to unhook it, solder just a small piece of 22 gauge wire to it to just make it hook up a little bit easier. I, I really struggled getting them hooked up because the wires are so small and so fine. Other than that, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at some videos of this particular product in action.
So I just showed you a video uh, from two different angles, both the eastbound uh, detector and the westbound detector for how the, as the train passes the various sensors, how the block signal works. I sent that video to Chuck from Logic Rail Technologies and unfortunately that is not how the system is supposed to work. So you can see um, here is my eastbound signal head, here's my westbound signal head, how this is supposed to work. I'm going to trigger this just with my hand. So as my hand crosses the first west detector, come up here, get the two, they both turn red. As soon as my hand clears, you can see that that eastbound signal changes back to green. And as my hand clears the last sensor, it changes back from yellow to red. So my infrared detectors are working properly when my when I run my hands over it. Locomotives and rolling stock, for whatever reason, it is not working properly and it times out after 35 seconds. So that video I just showed, the signal is actually timing out and reverting back to green. From my perspective, I think that seems a little bit more prototypical, but Chuck from Logic Rail Technologies could not come up with a good answer as to why I'm having difficulty. I mounted the sensors the exact same way I mounted my mounted them for my Grade Crossing Pro 45 degree angle. I ensured all the sensors were wired properly. We can't figure out why I can get it to work properly with my hand running over it, but locomotives and rolling stock simply don't work. So I'm not sure what the solution is. I don't know if anybody else has had those types of problems, but. Um, but I guess I'm just going to have to live with it, how I showed it in the video where it basically just times out. Overall though, I'm very happy with how this turned out, the wiring and the setup. I fully endorse uh, Logic Roll products. I think they're great products. Adds a lot of uh, prototypical realism to your layout. Easy to install, reasonable price point. So if you have any questions about um, my installation of the BA-1 IR, please make a comment and I'll be happy to answer them. Thank you.